Journal Log, March 15th, 2016. Curly Q Sideburns here. I'm here to tell you a grave, grave, grave story about a Nazi survivor living amongst us in Redneckville. You see, down here in Redneckville, we, we usually hate Nazis. We don't tolerate them. We're like most of America, even greater sometimes, even though they do support Donald Trump. But down here, we, we have a Nazi for a teacher. And not just any Nazi, a horse Nazi. That's right, folks. A horse Nazi. By the name of Horseface Bitch. You see, Horseface Bitch here teaches at a local high school. I'm not going to say it may or may not be my high school. But Horseface Bitch here, she is probably a mutated half man, half woman, half horse, all three. And you know how I said half man? Because she's probably part male somewhere in there. I'm pretty sure if you look hard enough, you could find some strand of male DNA in her genome. But the fact of the matter is, I'm pretty sure during World War II, she worked with Nazis. In fact, I can prove this. If you give, if you give me a minute, just give me, give, give me a minute, guys. One minute. All right. Let me just put on my reading glasses here. All right. <clears throat> July 28th, 1942. She was present in Auschwitz as one of the elite officers there. Apparently. She was monitoring gas chambers. And by monitoring the gas chambers, I mean she was the one you drop in the poison down into them. And this is how she developed most of her teaching techniques. By choking you to death through poisonous gas. She did it all with a smile on her face for the viewer. She was quote saying, Nay! Quote. But, let me tell you some things. That was her past as a Nazi horse. Let me tell you today. Today, as a teacher, in this modern age of technology and wonder, she won't let you use any form of technology to learn this beautiful language of English that she doesn't teach anyway, because I don't even know what the fuck she teaches. But, she'll take up your phones, your computers, anything. If that thing has a screen and an LED, Good luck. You're gonna get it taken up. <sighs> Man, you just gotta hate her. Also, let me tell you, this is a really good story right here. This one time, I was wearing a beautiful fedora. It was beautiful. I got it down from a trashy, trashy, trashy Puerto Rican in Puerto Rico. Well, I was wearing it to school, you know. I liked it. Show it off. Express myself, you know, like that song. But... As I was expressing myself in my hat, she told me, take off the hat. I'm like, why would you tell me this? I'm trying to express myself. And then I realized it is school policy. And it's also impolite to wear a hat inside. So I took the hat off. I put it down on the desk in, fr desk in front of me because it was unoccupied. This horse-faced bitch came up and took the thing. Ah, took the hat away. She took the hat away. She took the hat away, alright? She took the fucking hat away. Took the goddamn hat away, and it pisses me the fuck off. All right, I listen to the fucking horse face bitch, and she's just like, "I'm gonna go take up the fucking hat." You can hear the bird in the background screaming. It agrees with me. It fucking agrees with me. Me, that she's a goddamn idiot. Listen to her, you get punished. And she probably fucking wants to suck half the people in the fucking class's dick off. I'm fucking serious. Let me tell you something else. I have a little, I have a friend in this class that's with me. He hates her just as much as I do. In fact, everyone this in our class hates her just as much as we do. As, ah, pretty much everyone in the fucking school hates her, alright? To get my point across. Let me tell you. I'm going to be honest with you. We had a final exam a, f a few weeks back. I decided, hey, if I could break the system, I'm going to do it. I copy and pasted it for the most part. A good chunk of, chunk of an article. And the, the rewording and all that. Basically, I half-assed this thing. I made a, a C on it. Yeah, probably. 
That, that's good considering the work amount of work I put into it. Okay, my bud here, he pulled all night. He probably basically like an all-nighter for this one. Went all out. He got people to check in, all that, and tech citations. You know, the whole, whole football field's worth. He got an F on it. He got a flat F on it. And he went, and I was there. He went into our Naster. Why the fuck would you give me an F? I did everything you told me to do, and you're giving me an F. No reason. Not even like a B. Now you're going to throw a bone here. Or more importantly, a fucking carrot. <sighs> but. She pointed out to him. All the problems with his paper. And all the problems with his paper. Are shit he, she told him to do. What the fuck's up with that? That's hypocrite levels. To 9,000. I mean seriously. I mean Seriously. Plus, she's got that constant fucking, you know, shit-eating grin smile on her face. Looking up towards the sky, just wondering. I love my job torturing children. It's a great time. It's a beautiful time. It's a German time. Nay. Again, that's another quote from her. She is the literal worst teacher to ever grace any school of any history. You find me a teacher worse than her, I will pay you two billion Monopoly dollars. In cat, in paper, today, send me your billing address. <sighs> but that's my fucking, you know, rant, guys. It's not as long as the last one, probably. I haven't checked the time yet. But this was getting a few things out. And I don't want to throw my computer across the room out of pure frustration, anger from her. But, you know, if you ever want to get on her good side, if you're list anybody from my class listening to this, give her a carrot or maybe a sugar cube. She'll, she'll fucking love you. I did that at the beginning of the year. I put a little carrot down her desk. Bitch fucking, fucking adores me. A's here, A's here. A's here, A's everywhere. Get the fucking A's. Everyone gets A's. It's like fucking Oprah. Just, just give her carrots. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. <sighs> just thank you, Elton John, for hiring her. Good night, folks. All right. We call it a draw.